This video is about the future of FMK online training. So this is what I was thinking about. You know, you know there are some really good people out there that I've connected with, and some really great supporters out there. Um, and the idea of training somebody online can it be done? Can it be done the right way? Um, potentially. It may be able to be possible, but it there's, requires a lot of time and commitment, um, not just from the student, but from myself, you know, from the Sifu. And the thing is, you know, I'm running a school, operating a school where I meet the people face to face, I get to know them, they pay me to train them and I train them. And they deserve my undivided attention um, and I have my children as well that I'm training and I got f family to spend time with you know um, I just don't have the time to invest into teaching people online you know the combative elements of the of the arts um, also I feel that it should be done privately you know, not something where anybody could just log on to learn. I don't think that it should be done that way. Um, so mainly what I see that's going on is that I just simply am not getting the amount of money that would be worth my time in investing into this online training program. Um, and people, rather than paying money to learn online, they rather just jump onto somebody else's channel and get it for free from another channel. So it kind of is a tough situation because the student might not have the money or may not feel that it's worth spending that money when they can go to another channel. Um, so this is my, my idea is that I'm making a certain amount of money, a certain amount of revenue from the ads from YouTube at this moment being here about eight years um, I'm making a certain amount of money and I'll put that time into making you know videos that I have been making but I haven't been putting anything into the combative element but what I can see that could happen in the future is when I'm making a certain amount of money per month from YouTube say hypothetically it's a few thousand dollars then I would feel at that time that to give back I would put more of my time into teaching the martial arts to people that are willing to learn because I'm already making the money per month so I'll put my time back into the audience so my, my idea is based on the amount of money that I'm making now if it's going at this rate um, it may take another six, 24 years before you know, it gets to the amount of money that I am comfortable with to invest this time. And the way that it would go is the students would not have to, the potential student would not have to pay, but they would have to be interviewed, you know, interviewed um, to make sure that they're the right fit for the school. They'd have to make certain promises where they're going to be representing this school and not other schools. Um, and that they're going to be learning from this school mainly and not students of other schools. Um, they'd have to make a promise that they would not share any of the training video, you know, share any of the training videos with anyone that the training videos are only for themselves 
and then also they would be uh, expected to fulfill fitness requirements. They'd have to meet fitness requirements in order to even be considered. So there'd be a certain amount of push-ups and sit-ups and pull-ups and all that, that they'd have to do and they would have to demonstrate all that, submit the video as they interview for you know the possibility of becoming a, an online student. If they become accepted then from there they'd be sent training videos for private viewing. They'd have to work on the videos on what's being presented in the videos and then they, they would have to send back videos to show their progress. When they're ready to go to the next level then more videos would be sent to them. And they would be encouraged to visit the school in Chicago right here and uh, train with us maybe once a month or every year or something like that. So in this way, there's no money coming out of pocket from them unless they come visit the school. But the online training, they wouldn't be required to pay for it. Um, but at the same time, the videos are not open to, for the whole public to learn. And I would know exactly who I'm teaching. I would be communicating with the person, answering questions and whatnot, and sharing videos feedback <clears throat> and I could sever the training relationship at any time if they're not progressing or they're not putting in the time and then I could accept the next student that comes in um, but I could see something like that where the 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 time that I'm putting into it is already being paid by what I'm making from the advertisement online already. And it'd be my way to give back time also to, to see who out there um, is really serious about this type of training. And yeah, just like they could go into any channel and learn whatever. But they can't just come to this channel and learn whatever. They have to be qualified. They have to be interviewed. They have to make the promise not to share the videos with anybody. They may have to make the, they're gonna have to make the promise not to use the techniques for competitive fighting. Um, but only sparring. Um, they. You know, they, they would only get, they would have to fulfill the fitness requirements. You know, whereas in any other channel, they could just go there no matter if they're unfit, no matter if they just got out of jail, no matter if they beat on their girlfriends, or no matter if they're bullies, they could just jump into ch any channel and learn whatever they want to learn. But in this channel, they won't be able to do that. They got to go through the interview. They got to submit video. They got to pass the fitness test at least every year or maybe every six months not only do they need to practice the techniques but they got to show me through the videos that they share with me that they're actually progressing they got to make these promises that they're not going to just sh share the video with other people make promises that they're not going to use the techniques for competitive fighting and there's going to be an actual relationship that's established between me and the student so this is how I feel that it should go. The money's taken out of the equation because it's being paid by the ads. So there's no money being asked for from the student. So I could teach them if I want or I could just get rid of them if they're not the right fit. So this is the way that I feel the training should be. Where the people have to show that they're qualified to learn just like when you just like when you go to college they don't 
they don't beg you to they're not supposed to beg you to to go there you're supposed to interview to get in there you gotta meet the requirements to get in there you gotta pay money to get in to, to go there that's how I feel the training should be you know I could see that happening in the future but it's gonna take a long time going at this rate with the amount of money that's coming in and the amount of you know subscribers if it's going at this rate and it doesn't get any better then it's gonna be 24 years and then by that time I'll be um, 36 right now I'll be 40 I'll be 60 years old so maybe when I'm 60 years old I'll be implementing this idea for this online training you know but those are my thoughts on it um, I definitely don't see myself doing what everybody else is doing and just just putting out videos out there to teaching the whole world you know the combative elements in that way um, I really want to do it the right way demanding loyalty um, seriousness in the training and also as if they're right in front of you know as, as, as if I'm training them face to face I, I want to see their progress I want to get to know them who they are you know, and I think it can be done, but it's going to take a lot of time and commitment from both sides. And as far as my time and commitment is concerned, if it's already being paid for by the ads, then, then I don't mind doing it. But those are my ideas, and um, it's going to be some while before that happens. Um, it could be another 24 years. It could be 10 years. I don't know. Depending on how, how the channel grows. If it gets up to a certain amount of dollar per month, then this is something that I'm willing to offer.